Hi! Hello! Is this uh, Michael Wedgwood? Painting, <laughs> painting books and um, contributions? Yes! I see, are you Michael Wedgwood? Yes! I thought so, I recognise you from the flyer. Do you want to come in? I don't mind if I do! Well, you just have to admire them. So. I just thought this would be, be an opportunity to uh, have, have a bit of a chat with Michael, who I, who I work with a lot, but um, we have an ongoing conversations. But I thought it would be good to get some, <laughs> j just to have a bit of a, an informal chat. I, I have made some notes. Okay. This, what we see today, okay. is paintings. It, I, I was, uh, we go back to Christmas, and we had a bit of a, a chat that you were, we were losing the studio at mm -hmm. Tudor Road and um, we were packing loads of paintings uh, up and talking about, well, you have to show these paintings, you have to do something with them. Uh, and we, we, we did talk a bit about having a summer touring exhibition where we would put them in a van, yeah. take them to a field and then have it for a day and then but try and find out where we could put the stuff. Uh, but that never materialised, really. No. So, I was interested in how you came, came about. Uh, well, it makes sense to me, but if you'd like to say something about why you decided the garden. Well, in a similar reason, really. It's an outdoor space. It's a space that I have a certain level of control over. Um, but yeah, that, that was it, really. It's... it's it, it's, it's something I've got control over. I don't have control over gal galleries and uh, and you know the, the studio, the, the squat studio that we had. You have a certain level of control over that, but that could end in a in a week or a, or a day. So that that's gone. And, uh, I well, it, it seemed to me interesting that it was probably a year ago today that when you still had children. Yeah. Not today, but it, uh, that you had this other book launch. Yeah. Mm. That was uh, an interesting thing. That you. It was the first time I saw. It. Well, one of the first times I saw that you put paint outside, and I remember the big paint outside <coughs> of the road near Tudor Road, and there was cars going past. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. That. That's particularly successful with jabby kids and mopeds and, mm. uh, and the police. people setting fire to things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was no fire setting. No, the bike caught on fire, didn't it? Because oh, yeah. they left it running. Yeah. And, yeah I suppose you so. could say that this, this is a bit more contained than that. It's I cosy suppose. and domestic. Cosy, it is domestic. Um, you could say there's four walls. But I think that also kind of suits and reflects because the newer work, as opposed to the Tudor Road work, yeah. it's smaller and it's kind of obviously been made in a home setting. Yeah. And I think the concerns in it, the sort of the text and stuff, seem to. to you know. uh, and, and also, you know, because of the scale, it is because of the size of the working environment. This work was started in Tudor Road um, alongside the larger pieces. It's, um, it's, it's due to, you know, space. I've got no space, so the work has to shrink or, or even disappear. That's why he's never actually finished the experience. Okay, I'm happy. He was spending it. So this is the um, graph of oh, no, how well no, 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 both teams are doing in the first half. Uh, Holland. Um, Serbia Montenegro had quite a few chances in about from the 10th to the 20th minute and then Holland broke down the offside trap and Aaron Robben got through and scored on 21 minutes. Now it looks like the Dutch are in the ascendancy, Serbia's head might go down but there's still a skillful side so we'll have to see how it goes in the second half. But interesting how this game is panning out in 80 degrees in Leipzig. So this is, um, this is Brian, he's doing a diagram of the flow and movement of the ball. And How's it going, Brian? Oh, I'm getting good. Ooh, that's it. I got confused. Uh, it, Van Persie was quiet. Uh, and then Schneider uh, put it wide. Is it that right? Schneider. No, what was that shot? Schneider. Schneider. Thank you.
Who's number seven, Patrick? I think it's um, Schneider. I think it's Schneider. Yeah. I tell you what it reminded me of was um, that bit at um, Green Green Park where they put the paintings on the thing. <laughs> you know when people put up pictures of the Queen yeah. and then yeah, oh, the yeah, really yeah. terrible art market thing. Yeah, yeah. But when we put that up, it just kicked the whole thing. Sure. And I, I said it was something similar to what happened when Bruce put up some posters at his show and then he put some paintings down below yeah. and everyone started kicking off again. Yeah. But what, uh, what, to me, what also happened when when you did that was that, that this, for me, came into play with the whole painting as well. Uh, the whole, the yeah, yeah, gaps. yeah, and in the way that Alex's talking about yeah. there, I, I think that it, it kind of takes control of it, whereas before it did when I first came in, before you put that thing out, I, re I thought it was a really key, you know, negotiating with your neighbour <laughs> neighbour, well, and putting this, putting this thing out. I thought it was a very interesting move yeah. to do it, and it, it looked totally different before that. And we did talk about it as well, because uh, the initial idea was to actually put it flat to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I think something would have pinged by now. <laughs> yeah. We're looking at this in a way of a certain kind of culture of exhibition. Yeah. Or private view and gathering and exchange yeah. 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 within that. That's a kind of Western construct. Mm. But once you do it out here, I think other things come in. And there's mm. a strong link to a, a Japanese okay. construct, which is garden. Oh, a borrowed, borrowed view. Yeah. A kind of framing of something within a space oh. for an enlightened kind of cultural been reading that David Tooth book lately. Yeah. Oh, I was there way before that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's got good connections to that. I know him. He's, uh, he's pretty good. So when you say sort of borrowed view, I mean... Uh, well, how one might use a, a, another space and sure. bring something in, or yeah. might you, you know, that could be further back, Yeah, yeah. and allow that to happen. So you, you use the kind of framing of the space that you have in order to make other things happen. But when you say borrowed view as well, it almost says that it's not... You don't own it as much as That's you right. would a gallery situation. Right. But one it, can utilise that space and, and nature and, and temporary using it. Yeah. But that's part of a kind of another kind of cultural um, enlightenment sure. or exchange. Yeah. And it might revolve around something like a tea ceremony, you know, where you might sort of sit in that tea mm. in a space. Yeah. Right. And the kind of garden is going to be important. Because I think when you're going to those kind of outside spaces, of people, you know, there's, there's other things that come in. Mm. Maybe not so much an art contract. What are you doing? I'm going to do some tests. No, that's good. What do you want? I thought I'd bring along. It's something that um, was to do with, I assume, your interest in gardening. Mm. Because um, that was a very good assumption. What, but it was, it was just something in the character rather yeah. than anything else. Because I didn't know that you had this. No. And so when I came yesterday and saw this, I thought, right, I know, I know what it is going to be. Yes. So what I'm, what I'm making is a little collection of ecological adventures. Good. Yes. <laughs> uh, because I bought some seeds. <clears throat> but what I've done is to actually mask them. So I've got one which is forget me nots. Mm -hmm. uh, Plum worst, darling, you're right? Mm -hmm. Sentry. Um, Picasso nuts. Mm -hmm. And has beans. Good. Now, that's clearly not what's in there. What's in there is some um, flowers. Which for the life of me, I've forgotten what they are. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't recorded it either, so it's a surprise no, for no, all of us. No, this is going to be a surprise for all good, of us. Good. But I've got the, the, the little book, right. which um, is full of wonderful information. Good. Because it's totally empty, and it's up to the initiative of the person who's receiving it. Okay. So it's the sedition, yep. which is play on a word, a seed, and yep. edition. Uh, and this is a book to record uh, the locations that you will plant the seeds. So that's that. Good. And then these, it's like a game really. Mm -hmm. So these are then the markers if you choose to have them. A particular thing I love about this is the relationship of the green to the orange. I think it's rather aesthetic. Yes. This is a, it's a winter art here. Yes. So there's that. And then this is just a note to say. Um, um, that's the context. This is, this is, yes, this right. is just itemizes what, what's okay. there. So 
The thing is, is that you can, you know, do it however you really like. But and can I, can I get, can other people go and do these? Oh, things? absolutely, yeah, yeah. And does it have to be in the back garden? No, no it, it's your, it's, it's being handed over to you now. I treat, I treat it like a game. Right. So games usually imply interaction with yeah. other people. Yeah. So because we don't know what the seeds are anymore, yeah. they could grow up as high as that tree there uh, or yeah. higher, yeah. or they could be little things down here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but so I keep the book, but for example, say if, I give, say if I give a pack to Brian and he goes yeah. and plants them in, I don't know, wherever, America or yeah. Vic Victoria yeah, Park or wherever, yeah. he has to come and tell me where they are, yeah. and then that's and then open for other people to... Yeah, to, so I think that's a good idea, because yeah. then it's, in, but it's engaged, it's just yeah. like, a, like a seed, it grows into something bigger and bigger and bigger, whatever. So from a small thing, you know, oh, yeah. trees can blossom, that sort of thing. So Very nice. So that's, but I wanted to make it a some, some little bit like a game. Yeah. So um, with a game, you don't, when you want to know really what's going to happen, there's a degree of, not anarchy in it, but a degree of happen chance yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if someone wants to, the only thing is, is you can use these as mockers or not. Yeah. In the same and they go in quite deep. Just they go, so you just see the head. But the you edge. can also use these, because when you plant seeds, you need a little sort of, uh, Hollow or whatever, to make yeah. a hole in the ground. Uh -huh. the, so you take one of these. Sort of everything, Yeah. And then you push it into the ground, yeah. and then you put the seed in the ground, and you water them. Yeah. So anyway, that's. So should we do a, a test planting here? So it's you, like a sort of test site? Absolutely, because then. Uh, but we should label these then, if we're putting all four there, shouldn't we? Um, or maybe do a diagram in there. However, you, however, however the, the thing is that I think it's maybe uh, as a test run, yeah. to, because you're. That's, I was so taken by that garden anyway. Right. So why not um, open a packet or whatever, it, yeah. and then you've got a little trial there. I think we should give and it a go. Give it a go, yeah. yeah. Should I do the first one? Sure, yeah, it's yeah. probably should probably yours now. Then you record the date in the book. Right, so I think this is the test support. Test plot. <laughs> be be cash your nuts. Or, uh, 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 Twelfth. Twelfth. Okay. So twelfth of the of June. Yeah. See, that's a May July one. June two thousand and six. So I'll do these first. Pick ass all nuts. Oh, they're a little packet inside. One. Um, you may get uh, subsidence in the house with the amount of the volume of seeds that you're putting in. Um, it's alright, Maria's in insurance, I'll be alright. Yeah. Which is which? I've done a little. Oh, fantastic! There you go. I've done a little um, plan. mapping of a plan of it. Great. Has. Because I'd like to know what forget me not. Yeah. yeah. No, I've done a, <laughs> done a little plan so I know where everything is. It could be a palm tree, you never know. <laughs> well, then you've got a real contest of seeds. Yeah. Which one's going to come out on top? <laughs> there you go, last one. Uh, who's going to water them? Yes! So that's the test site. There we go. Well done. Thank you, David. Thank you. Hello! Hello, everyone. Sorry, sorry we missed you from the no, bus no, stop. It's fine. It's fine. 
I see you've come prepared. Uh, yeah, but everything's falling apart. Really? Should yeah. we get to the house? Yeah. Yeah? I left, I left the door. Yeah? The, uh, the strap broke. Oh no. Well, no, it's quite funny. And then I was walking through the park and some woman thought I was an actor. What would she say? A jogger. She goes, oh, I like your suit. How have you made that? Paint. I went, what? The whole thing's out of paint now. I've painted a suit. <laughs> oh, very nice. <sighs> and then, uh, then um, Dave and Lolita. Yeah. Well, Dave was very kind. He helped me carry my baggage around the, the track. Who's Dave and Lolita? Just two people that started reading my suit as I was, uh, as I was walking along. They were following me around, following me along, reading my suit. Two randoms. Yeah, and then they did this. And then another woman, another woman saved the table leg because it fell out the back. Really? Yeah. So you've actually been uh, meeting people today. I have. I've met, I've met more people today in Finsbury Park than the two years I've lived there. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry we missed you off the bus. No, that's fine. Yes, but I think I'll just take the bag and not the, these, these extra little bits. I think I feel like a bit, a bit like one of those preachers. And uh, put my hand on people's heads. Push them over! And that's how it'll work. Um, can I, can I, uh... Do you want a glass of water to cool down? That would be lovely. And, and can I, can I have a, a, a resident rag or something? A resident rag, yes. Oh, I'll go and get you. you a rag. I've set you up a little virtual office. That's great. I can't wait to receive my, uh, my fan mail. Yeah, and so that is from Gold. So when faxes come in, they get printed straight out to there and you'll be able to see Patrick's face and Graham's face on there. And then we can take the faxes straight through here and here. And where? Through here. Yeah. To be used as material or as on their own to do drawings to... Uh, have wrappings for the, for the paintings for when the show's finished. Excellent. So you haven't recorded it either, so it's a surprise for yeah, no, it's a surprise for all of us. All wonderful information. Good. <laughs> it's good so, webcams. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I keep the book. It's nice. Say if, I give, cool. say if I give a pack to Brian and he goes yeah. and plants them in, I don't know, wherever, America or yeah. Victoria yeah. Park yeah. or wherever, yeah. he has to come and tell me where they are. Yeah. And then that's from that then open. I think that's a good idea because then it's, in, it's engaged, it's just yeah. like a How did, the top and the bottom. how did that happen? Sure. It hasn't fallen out here. Maybe it fell out in the house, the garden, the bus. It's fallen out anyway. I'm starting to think seriously about what's going wrong. I wouldn't go doing that. That's why I'm putting the mask on. Does that help? It's a, it's a good distraction. Ah.
later on to do some, make some wrappings for the paintings. Oh yeah, that's right. And to have drawings on the, the so the wrappings are actually that. new drawings and paintings. Is this going to stay? Well, we've got lots of stuff. Okay. And uh, just well, if you have any now, thoughts about mm -hmm. anything you want to put on it's that or include in anything. Or or Okay, I'll have a think about that. I'll, if good. I send some drawings relating to the um, to the book one, we'll okay. watch. And maybe you could send me some stuff if you like. Yeah. But this is the first webcast or semi webcast that we we plan to do, and hopefully it will extend into new areas and new situations which we can all use. This is technology at its best. <laughs> Mm. We've received your fax, Patrick. I'll, uh, I'll just yeah. take it in for processing. Well, my first cocktail was mojito. Oh, Do you mind nice. my, me, Brian, telling that in no, the No, it's not a performance. I'm just doing My marketing. second one was caipirinha. And after that... What's in that? I don't know, but it's fucking good. And then there was <laughs> something else with vodka. And then there was something with rum. So oh. imagine what happened. And then there was a sparkling wine one. I had seven. Oh. Oh. They were all different things. Oh. It wasn't even the oh. same oh. drink. <laughs> They were all very, very nice. Mm -hmm. No, a little bit, a little bit longer. No, I have to It's just in your egg. Well, I'll do the eggs in a second. Ketchup um, or mayonnaise? Can I ketchup, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> what is that? It's a bit so so. so there we go. <laughs> Mm. Can I eat it? Um, yes, cool. That looks right. better. Mm. Wow, my egg. Wow. Oh. Wow. Communal sausage sandwich. <laughs> so if the sausages are made of paper, maybe the napkins are made of cow. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hey. How are you? Hello. 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 Okay. You're not going to make the little farting noise. Yeah. <laughs> Just for you. Oh. Ketchup or mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, please. Mayonnaise. Eh? Well, it's spicy, yeah. Well, <laughs> there you go. Does anyone else like anything? We have beef burgers, sausages, and eggs. Oh, What's that? <laughs> That's beef burgers. Oh. There you go. These these faxes are coming from Norwich. Yeah. Who's yeah. talking? Pa Steven is talking to you. Talk to him. In Norwich. In Norwich. Oh, right. So uh, you want to say, you know Patrick, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Egg with egg mayonnaise. Mm. Oh, yeah, because I had the sausage. Yeah. 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 Well, I have to, you have to tell me how, <laughs> how it tastes. What's that? You have to tell me how it tastes. Is the <laughs> egg done to your liking? <laughs> well, I have another egg here. <laughs> News just in from Norwich, it's half time Patrick's going for a pork pie. Oh, we have an egg if anyone would like an egg. Oh, I'd like an egg, but can you, um, can you pierce it in the middle? Yeah, hang on, hang on. I didn't like eggs till last week. I've just pierced it in the middle. What do you mean pierce it in the middle? So that the runny bit goes hard. Oh yeah, I heard the you yellow. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't bit. like the white so bit. The white bit is shit. Ketchup, no, you Ketchup, have to turn yeah. it over so the white doesn't... I've never had... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Look at your painting and Brian's head. Brian, that's quite nice, huh? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, sir. No worries. Mm. Oh, you pig. Can I have a look in the Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Flashed Yes. Well, Pat, here's my sausage sandwich. That Brian oh, cooked. That's nice. Yeah, it's, 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 nice. it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, which one are you having? Beef burger. That's especially for Maria. Star burgers. 
Here's a field of been outdoors. Uh, that wedgie's easily washed. You mean they're not already deep? There's a lid just at the back. That's a proper Alan Parkinson shot. You in front of the camera has been an interesting one. Mm. You were understandably very reluctant. Not understandably because of you, but you, 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 um, you had to do it on your own terms. Do you want to see anything about that? Because the last bit of filming we've done has just gone very. You've, you've been able to. You know. It just happens, isn't it? Down in Oxford yeah. Street, and uh, there is again, there is a hell of a lot of trust involved in the people that you're working with. That was working with six people, mm. and, and and also to link back to the thing that I think you have. It has to be on your own personal terms mm. as well. Um, and when you get that balance right, it made sense to me, and I found that the few film pieces that we've made recently have um, been, you know, really important. What, what I'm up to and what I'm thinking about. Just a, a different sort of medium and a different way of uh, communicating an idea. But yeah, I mean, standing in front of a camera, you know, scared the shit out of me. And it still does in a way, but it... it but you have to exert control at some times to, yeah. in your day-to-day -day life, don't you? Of course. In your job, you, you, you slip into a, a character mode yeah. and you exert a certain kind of control. Yeah. And um, when you produce a work Especially with Eddie, it seems like you. Most of the point of that is 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 relinquishing that relinquishing that control, and whatever that whatever that turns up, it changes your personality mm. in a way, mm. and it changes your reaction to the to the work and yeah. to your surroundings, yeah. and it puts you sort of in a, a slightly more vulnerable space. Would you say or with with uh, filming or with anything? With with anything like that, that's part of the intention, you know. Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. In order to get the results, I, I'm yeah. very confident, and I'm very I work well yeah. when there's a, a sort of framework, yeah, or something like like yeah, you know. My but what's job, the what's like the framework here though? I mean, cause, cause here now, yeah, um, setting mm. something up for something yeah. like this to happen, yeah. not 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 necessarily a painting show. Let's take what's been happening with the uh, the rehearsal meetings as well. You've been doing a similar thing with that. I mean, in terms of your input. Um, and not necessarily um, presenting something at, no. at maybe the last few meetings, but what you've had to say has been very uh, similar to this, but without the paintings being there. Well, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But um, just just coming back to the, the, the social aspect, of it, I think this is also involved in a lot of stuff you do, a social aspect. And I think it's right about the, uh, the meetings because because they're held in different places. There's something happening. You seem to work quite well with that, and I, I think it's very similar to what you do with your painting. I, mm. th I think there is a very strong crossover with mm. with organising that stuff. <laughs> Don't think you should be well, getting uh, those ones. Should I go there? Yeah, why don't you go there? Then right. we can go to the bell bit. Right, Ash. Just, just... Right. Or else you don't know. Okay, okay, Jeez. I've never heard. Music. Oh. Some music, maestro. Alright. That's right! That's... No, you should say that. That's a fact! Facts are facts! Oh, yeah. Well, because we, we can't be out in the sun for more than 20 minutes, because we, we, we can't stand in 10, uh, my mum says. That's right! That's a fact! Facts are facts! You may have begun stumbled. You may have, have been, been stippled. Fatigued. You may have been scrimmed, petite, obliqued, and, and cross hatched. But today, you're in for a damn good ragging. Sponsored by Fresh and Wild, Planet Organic, and Shitty Babies and Three Wheeler Buggies with flies around their faces. That's a fact. Right. That's a fact! 
Um, oh, I can't, if I can't find a mustard page already. Sean Connery! Right. Right. Oh, look, I've written that. Uh, right, so you're going to have to. Buffalo Soldier came down from my grandson. Aye, aye, aye. 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 Right, here's a few contributions from my organic filth table of organic filth. In a very specific order, oh, I'll tell you that. A line out glare and you the stubs autograph chickpeas. Smoking causes goodness. With but free fags, golden, golden handshakes, handshakes golden gun shower gel. gel. Organic rugby union ball. Pink, uh, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Right, pink grapefruit wigs, suffocation by lavender, transcendental bombing. It's the green fact, organic shop treatment, nylon loaf, organic shite, girl stoke therapy, chocolate press, Alan Jones is an arse biscuit, organic euro tap. <laughs> organic Siamese twins, vitamin V, organic hanging nooses for all of you. Juice. I'm not going to say that, you can say that. You're well, losing fun! Third division, straight advice number one. Oh. You can kiss goodbye to any kind of life. You can't have a job because you must be near your juicer at all times. It's a fact. Straight advice number two. You get through 20 carrots, 100 apples, 3 oranges, 1 green pepper, 2 lettuces, 1 grass, and 2 bunches of greens a day. Hey, that's a fact! Organic, organic safari! Why is the butter not pushed into all four corners? Ah, I don't like bad, I don't like this bad buttering. That's a fact! What's a fact? Fax it! Uh, what's this then? Trap with trap wind chime! Hello Vera cell block hitch! Featuring Vivian Westwood shitty shoes! <laughs> Psycho repair kit, fiber base, weighted pumps, deforestation gato, A list paper bags, Jerry Halliwell's chip <laughs> toilet. <laughs> that's, that's a teenage, teenage, f uh, what the hell is this? Oh, the ass is the teenage pram page, the pram project. Teenage pram page? Yeah, yeah, pram projectiles. Um, teenage prams are so hard to beat. Pram queen, pram ass. Pram Prompton! Every crowd is a silver pram. A stitch in time saves. A pram look, I've written it wrong there. Prammy get your prammy get your what's this? Prammy get your guns out. Yeah, but it says prammy get your airways. Prammy a pram, pram am airways, pram amateur dramatics. Oh, that's funny that. That's funny. Pan fried doily! Fruit and souls, organic clipper, infused by Tony Hadley and Tony Hart. How to avoid sa sandal rot in low easy stipples. That's not how you spell sandal. Oh sorry. Dead, oh. dead sprout by Soutine. <laughs> What's this? Potty curtain boys by Tony Craig. Alright, pretty curtain boys by Tony Craig, I see now. Eggs can be stored <coughs> in fish fingers with nasal irrigation kits. Organic snooker table, organic rib tickler, organic... Oh, you can't stop, do you? I think you should use that one. Organic abduction, the lentil diaspora. That's oh, that, that's very topical, that is. That's, that's very it's topical. It's a fiber-based food note. It is. Three for two, bloat, a Tony and Guy. Would you like a cup of coffee with that, sir? Certainly, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> There is handbag made from knitted yogurt, crocheted underground bureau, and knitted banana. <laughs> uh, crocheted custard sat, meat and so veg on a football boat. You've got to stop looking after yourself! 
Ross, you're not a fight. Ross, not a fight. That's a fact. Facts are fact. Facts fact. it. Be Pebble Miller one with oneself. Sunflower and pumpkin seed granny cufflinks. Granary Sis with that's granary. Granary cufflinks. Sick. Sesame seed suicide. Bugs bunny in aspect. That's not very well read that. No, oh, sorry. Well, anyway. Knit your own man tab. Organic smoking angles of sustainability. <laughs> Warning, organic orange wool may not be available in your shitty little market town. Organic irrigation. What the fuck? Uh, uh, I think it is. Army life with Wendy Craig. Organic porno. <laughs> oh, do you? <coughs> Elderly butterflies, Chris Evans in an organic caricature, wind and French scented vagrant Alan Wickers. What? World of. Well, yeah. I think that's Chris, it's not Cross. World of Cross Chris. I get quite world of Cross Dressing. Angry yeah. Cross Stitched, Corn Flax and Anthrax Water Biscuits. Wait. Corn Flax and Anthrax Waffer Fit Biscuits. Ladies Fencing by Taylor Lyle. There he's gone by, by, by fuck off and die. <laughs> this boot was brought to you by um, an angled nib. Lady snooker, lady shave, lady's shit house by I spy Chuck Berry through that uh, Route 66 glory hole <laughs> over the topless bridge by MTV Unplumbed. Deep ID D, the actual official logo, Slazenger Slacks, Group Free Bugatti, Gluten Free Beefcakes, Goldfish Shite, Penis and Flares, Swiss Banker! And then I think it's about time for Buffalo Soldier came down for my ring time. Ay, 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 Man's ripped sweater. This is going on a bit long, isn't it? Aye, aye. Anyway, aye, aye. Never mind. We're, I think we might have to skip a few pages. Grandma beans. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> beans in sauce. That is a fact. <laughs> wet, wet, wet. Shut up. Wet. <laughs> wet classroom. Organic tears. Iron on sticky back lentils. My crammy sovereigns. Lee Valley in the Four Seasons. Mastermind. I thought it's all finished. <laughs> The collector's pleasure in lowercase. Oh, lowercase. Lower That's a fact. Organic spot of bowl. The rainforest boogies. Commemorative organic gold digger skirt. Organic nudist. Fat free Aussie walkabout stack night. Dirty niggas bar. I'm really angry now. <laughs> Cat pissing cranberry red full breath. Oh, what are you doing there? John Menzies green meal deal. Eggy tapestry. Scramble, scrim, duck down. Organic crooners. I've lost my accent. They <laughs> regulated cat flaps. Oh, we're almost there. Organic incest protein is fish. Time for a man time. Stop free interlude. Shall we do the rest of that then? Oh, I think we should be one to the. Uh, yeah, because the, the menu. I think we've fucked that one up, haven't we? Right. Oh, jeez. What about my how is this going to work? I haven't planned this out very well. Where's the chalk? <laughs> the chalk's in my bag. Nice, man. Did you get the chalk? <laughs> oh, I've got the chalk. Oh. Yeah, right. 
Special food! Special diet! What's next then? Stomach whining linguini! Oh yes, so do. No, I don't know if I can spell linguini out of it. L-I-N-G weenie! I can my arms sore now, but that'll... That's it's a personal, personal favourite. I wish I was ambidextrous now, I can tell you that. Come to the left. What's, oh shut up, what's, oh is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a special menu. Right, that's, oh, 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 left. Followed by toenail potage. Oh, that's one of my favourites, that one. I love to wake up on a summer with some toenail. Is it potage or porridge? I think it's potage. All Deep right. fried shoulder blade. I'm really getting a sore arm here, but never mind. What is it? Deep fried shoulder blade. Deep fried shoulder blade, ah. What's that fine? It's under control. There's no problems here. It's deep fried shoulder blade. Is it going to fit in, I wonder? Of course it isn't. It isn't, right? What's next then? Desiccated rib cage. We want to soak porridge. Sphincter and brine. Oh no. No, <laughs> no. I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go there myself. <laughs> <laughs> Today's special small intestine chutney. Ah, oh, it's lovely stuff. Me, me mum made it. It's a gastro fact. No meal would be the same without it. Tennis shoe pastry. Tennis shoe pastry, yeah. I've got, I've Have you got room for today's specials? Right. I'll I'll put the line up. Right, what's the specials? Jellied heels. Jellied heels, yes. all right. What sort of heel is it though? H-E-E-L-S. No, what well kind? healed! What? Well healed! Yes, they are. We are. Everyone is. Go on, what's next? I'm losing it. <laughs> Kneecap glory! It's a fact! Facts and fact! I mean, I haven't got a rubber, so I'll just have to write over the just top. Just start again! It gives a fuck anyway. Okay. Cut! Pastry! If you've got some more chalk, I'll have another bit. That's a bit. We'll have to. What colour do you want next? Blue, pink, yellow, or green? Yes! Blue with it, and we'll go for blue, because I'm a boy. Right, what's next then? Chintory! It doesn't look like blue to me. Looks white. Chintory! Jawbone ghetto! Is it not jawbone in the air, I forget? No, jawbone ghetto! Alright. That's made by your mum! Alright, hi! She thought that menu, she thought that recipe up when she was on the toilet one day. <laughs> <laughs> Petro pie! Could be a flan! Oh, Fibia's pH. Fibia, I'm going to have flan with pH as well. What do you think about that then? That's going to go down well with the locals. It goes down well with the, the rectum ruler. Oh, rectum. Oh, wash it down in style with a rectum ru ru ruler. <laughs> Cleaning your palate with some sternum sorbet. Kneecap and kidney pie. Oh, lovely. I think, if I remember rightly, the last one's a bit crap. <laughs> What is it? Kneecap? And kidney pie! Alright. Oh, and the very last one! Right. It's tortilla hips! Tortilla hips? Yes! Mm. That's more like a snack, isn't it? And that, that concludes today's menu! Not yet, not that I finished this, it doesn't. <laughs> At the Bollocks Hotel! I wonder like... Bollocks Hotel! Fact! Fact that fact! A fucking pig! Right. Is that everything or should we read the rest of the book? Or would it... I think we do. I think we do the buffaloes. Do we do the rest of the book or do we finish now then? I think we finish now. Right, we'll what do one buffalo? more then. What a buffalo. I don't feel that this song bit was working very well, I'm anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What was it again? I've forgotten. Alright. Oh god, this is a bit of bad isn't it? Buffalo soldier came down from Accrington. Ah! Am I going to go and get something to eat then? Yeah, so we'll get. Well, uh, I don't want any of that crap. No, that's shit. I like a prairie ice to myself. Alright, that's, that's very good. It's always been a fair. Thank you very much. Right, thanks for that there. Thank you very much. What that led on to, interestingly enough, was the boxing that we did together. Mm -hmm. and, and, and one of the things that. that that I thought was very interesting in work, working with you there because I'd never really worked with anybody in that to that extent before. I, no. I've fellow artists, I've worked with other people uh, <coughs> before that, but not someone that was asking obtuse questions <laughs> and things. But the boxing no, no. was very interesting, and, and, and this idea that we were going to print the boxes and make this and make that, and then when it came down to physically doing it, it was so knackering. 
that, that we started to work out just physically how we could do it. Yeah. And that kind of determined what we made. Yeah. And I, in a way, I thought I was stronger. But I remember at one point we were going, we, we got into the sort of thing of trying to select what would be the next. I, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's just stacks of boxes. But we were trying to select what, what would be the, the best box to put on top of another. And we were, oh, that's nice. But it was funny when we said, right, we can't look at them. We just throw them up and then you've got to do it. And right. it, it, made, it made such a difference. Yeah. Just that kind of physical thing of actually doing it. Because it was 16 columns or something, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? That's a good piece, that one. Yeah, I mean, it, different. Yeah. But, but I don't think we've, we've ever nailed what, but it was so simple, we never yeah. nailed what it was and what we were trying to do, but I, I think it, for me it opened up a huge amount of stuff. I don't, I don't know about you. What, what well, you? I think the, the, one thing I learned from that, I'd never done any uh, collaborative work before either, and one thing that really stood out for me was this idea of instead of uh, just sitting around umming and ahhing about what something could be, just do it, and then the act of doing it can actually give you the answers. You know, we were, initially we were going to get get all this printing and, you know, print it all <laughs> elaborately, you know, there was probably mm. a thousand boxes there, you know, or, or whatever, and, you know, we were going to sort of print each one, and in the end, putting them up, we realised that they were already printed with KP Crisp, and we, we put them up, like you say. I have to say that Maria, Maria was standing Maria by, was mopping, mopping her brows, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> actually putting on most of the boxes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But well, no, just doing it, I think, was um, yeah. was key for me. It was, a, it was a big thing. I think prior to that, my, my attitude to the whole thing had just been studio, sit there, do it on your own, get on with it. And I mean, it is about that in one sense. Yeah, it's a theory. Electro, punk, hits and tea. 
sleazy electro punk case and T. Kinky D, R and B, hypnotic dance rhythms, King of Fashion, Rock and Roll, and Burlesque, Cabaret, not to mention T. Live bands first. to when you thought about putting the paintings in the field. Mm. If you look at the work here, um, you can tell there's, there's a real sort of authorship of the work mm. you know, from you, you know, mm. you've, you've controlled them in there. Of all the work you've made, um, this is the work which seems m m most personal. Right. And almost, you almost seem to have, like, I don't know whether it's just the way it's set up or whether it's actually in the work itself but there's a certain sort of almost parenthood over the work right that, that amount of not control but relation relationship to the content of the work and the way it's made and in here the work the work con controls the space and mm. and speaks and has dialogue with the people in within the space whereas in in a field it would be the opposite way around wouldn't it, it space would be, control yeah it will dictate how it's time or viewed yeah and there, there's especially this it's, it's very it's very sort of old to us like the plants just sitting from here looking up and the plants beneath it yeah. Yeah. Hmm? There's still enough of, enough of an edge to do it. Sorry? There's still enough of an edge to do it. Thank you very much. Have you ever wrapped paintings before, Brad? Um, with well, bubble wrap. Not with, uh, never, with paper? never with Never with works. This one, uh, So how do you think this is working, then? It's working very well. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm quite interested well, to see what the whole effect is going to be. Should we do as many as we can? I, I, I think people should choose a section and, and do it. Yeah. Okay. I think everyone should you get should involved. Invite, you should invite people. What, do you like to pick a painting and do a wrapping? There we go. I do. I can't do this right. What's that? I can't do this right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I can't do this right. 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 Yeah, I can't do this right
Mm. I don't know, I was just thinking, one, one, one of my written down questions was when you're actually working with other people, mm. you know, on, on how different that is. And my guess would be, from observing you, actually it's not very much different. When I'm working on my on own, own, own with, others. with other people. I don't actually know if it's much different. You seem to find an area where you can work. Yeah. And yeah. it, it, it moves things along it, it, in a way and it contributes, but you're not actually just trying. It's very easy to recognise yeah. that. You can very distinctly see it. It's not very tangible, or it's not a. I suppose it's, um, yeah. it's very. I don't know how to. You can see it. Yeah, a couple of things to wind up in true Anchorman it's style. It's right. Because <laughs> what, what I'd noted about uh, uh, our collaborations and stuff is that recently, as an exchange, you have taught me how to, you actually taught me how to screen print, okay. introduced me to screen print. You've also walked me through every stage of internet and I still can't do it, but, you know. <laughs> but in exchange, I have explained to you the difference between Tories, <laughs> <laughs> which is actually a very difficult thing yeah. to explain these days. And I still don't yeah. know. Yeah. And okay. I've introduced you to fried eggs. Yeah. Only a week ago. I had two. Yeah. One which on Tuesday, which one on Thursday. Fried egg sandwiches, <laughs> I had two. <laughs> Does that go up there with the curry sauce and brown sauce? Yeah. Well, they won't. Is that a question? And I'm <laughs> fried egg sandwich. Can we have an Alcoholics Anonymous style clapping? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are you going to award this to anybody or are you going to keep it? Well, I, I, I feel, I've got... I thought I had no idea about who I'd give it to because I haven't been paying attention. But I thought I'd give it to—I thought I'd give it to the one person who said a word that I didn't know, and that has to be Gary. I think mean, you should ask the question again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah. I would know I knew that word. A word that's in the dictionary. <laughs> the English. I imagine. Yeah. What was the question again? I can't remember. Bob. Bob. Ab it was something about the bar, 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 outdoors bar. being. Is the rebarbative site rebarbative. essential to the working process? Yeah. I have a suspicion it probably is. You said so. That. Well, if, if that's the criteria, do you feel that your work is Rabelaisian? <laughs> <laughs> Too late, no. <laughs> you don't want it. Anyway. And we signed it. We don't sign. We haven't signed yeah, it. Just signed. Signed it really. Just signed today. Today only. <laughs> Excellent. This is the opposite of rebarbative. rebarbative. I don't even know what, what does it mean. Refined, no. difficult, yeah. intrusive, easy. It's a percentage then for this music. Oh, come <laughs> Thirty-six, Mike. Thirty-six what? A percent. Thirty-six percent. Percent. The whole. Percent. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's not no, qualitative. I think that's good. It's not qualitative. No, it's thirty-six percent. It's an, an analysis. Oh. An analysis. Yeah. Didn't need it into analysis. It's number one. Wow. That really lasts 53 minutes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>